All right, welcome back everybody. It's been a long time since I've done a video. Way too long, I think. I've been trying to get back into it, but I haven't really found a good reason as to why I wanted to do it or what to do. I just kind of got busy with work and everything else. And one thing I want to do today, I it thought it'd be fun to do, is I'm going to review some of this gear that I have for my phone. Uh, one issue I ran into is well, first off, first off, let me say, I'm, I love tech. I love rev looking at tech. I love looking at tech reviews. But the biggest problem that I have when I'm reviewing tech is how they're done. They're done at a nice, clean desk, nice, pretty backlighting. You sit there, and I got to listen to five minutes of unboxing and reading all the little things on the inside of the box, which, honestly, I don't know. I might be wrong. You guys can tell me in the comments below. But I don't care about that. I really don't. I work outside, I get dirty, I, I'm a blue collar worker, even right now I'm filming this at my workbench at work, I built a rig using PVC from Home Depot and I figure, you know what, let me just give a real honest blue collar review on what I'm using and if it works or not, so if you work outside or if you're working with your hands, whether you're doing mechanical work or whatever it may be, is this stuff going to hold up? I'm not gonna go through cutting a box open with a gigantic knife. I'm not gonna read the pamphlets. I'll show you the box, and then I'm gonna throw it aside. I've been holding onto the boxes just strictly for this review here. So after that, it's gonna go right in the garbage. So what I'm gonna show for you today is my mouse collection. Now I've been using mouse for years. I had it on my 10R. I don't know if I had it on a phone before that. I may have, I think I had it on my seven that I had and now I have a 12 Pro that I upgraded to and I have several stuff for them including the wireless charger vent mount that just came out I just got that last week so I'm going to show you a little bit of all the stuff that I have here so uh, real quick let me just show you one thing if you order mouse online or through Amazon I don't remember if this one was Amazon or right from Mouse, but if you do order through them, now, like I said, I'm not a tech person, so I'm using my wife's camera here, so bear with me. This is the box you're gonna get. It's just a cardboard box that wanna be good for the environment. Little mouse branding inside, if you can see that right there. Let me see if I can focus that. Open it up, the phone will be in there. There's another little package that I already lost, and that's it. So let's get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. So what we have here is the cases I've always used on my phone are all mouse limitless, the 3.0. That's what you see here. Now I've always had the carbon fiber, which I absolutely love. It works really well. But the problem I ran into with this phone is it's slippery. So when I'm working outside, walking around at work, I have to take pictures for work a lot or even just on the 12 Pro, the cameras on these things are amazing. I've been playing with them a lot. So when I go to hold them, I drop them. Now, these mouses are indestructible. I haven't broken a phone yet with them. I've broken tons of screen protectors, but never a case. I'll dent them, scratch them, everything else. But I wanted to try something a little bit different. So I had a carbon fiber one, just like all my other cases didn't like it, so I sent it back. And I picked this one up here. So this here, what you're seeing is the Mouse Limitless 3.0 for the iPhone 12 Pro in the speckled fabric. So you can see the speckled fabric on here. And the reason I like this one so much, it's grippy, I can hold it. So if I'm at work, it's not gonna slide across my desk at all or my workbench here. So you can see that works really well. So a lot of people I've seen on a lot of reviews, they complain that getting these things in and out of the cases is an absolute nightmare. Let me focus that again. So the only thing you have to do here, it just takes a little bit. Just give that a real nice little push. Let me turn that off. And poof, you're out of the case. Here's the inside, here's the outside, speckle fabric, it has grip. A Little bit of grip on the outside. There's the phone. No, I'm not reviewing that. There's a million phone reviews. So there you go. So I forget what materials people always say these are. I don't know. All I know is this thing does 
protect great. So to put it back in, put one side in, then let's put the other side in here, give it a good push, you hear a click, and boom, you're done. So Mouse Limitless 3.0, speckled fabric, by far my favorite one that I've had so far. And the other one I have here, I got it just to try it out. Ended up liking it for a while, switched away from it. I'm sure it's durable, but I have do have a clarity here. So again, really good case, looks great, but I don't know if the camera will pick this up at all, but they say it's scratch proof. I have scratched the hell out of this thing, nonstop. Every time I put it in my pocket with my keys or if I was walking around at work and I had a pen or pencil or anything else that was in my pocket, I scratched it. There was just no way around it. Uh, both of them though, they don't add too much bulk to your phone. They just fit in the pocket, come right out, very easy to use, very durable. If I'm in the middle, if it's a dirty day and I'm doing some dirty work, then yeah, I'll have to take it out of the case. I'll always keep a pack of microfiber sitting around just to wipe it down or wipe the camera lens down. And that's all you really need to do with that. Uh, the other thing that I did pick up for too, we have the lanyard here. Sorry, it's so zoomed in here. I'm using, like I said, I'm using my wife's DSLR and every time I stop, the thing just zooms itself back in. I'm not good with cameras, so bear with me. But here it is, we have one of their lanyards. So works good, put it right on the corner of the phone, loop it through and you are good to go. Nice and easy, just goes right on your wrist, put it on right here and cinch it down. Again, that's really zoomed in. I wish I could do something about that, but oh well. So that'll go on your phone. So if you're working, you don't want to drop your phone. If you're hanging it over something that's dangerous, then put it on your wrist. Save yourself the hassle. These things are not cheap. The cases, I forget, I think they're like 50 bucks, something like that each. So protect them. Uh, the other thing I got for them, which I'm kind of regretting right now, it does work. It works really well. I'll show you in my car as well, but I did pick this up here. Here is their new car mounts. I got the vent mount. I already have a windshield mount that I'm going to take off. That was a wireless charger, but it doesn't wireless charge anymore. So I like the idea of the vent mount just because my window mount is very hard to take off comes with in the box here. Let me see if I can get it. We have a little charger and the plug that will plug into this. This isn't really as much as work related, but car related. I did say that I regret getting this. I'll show you in the car why you put this in, it falls out, it doesn't stay on. The phone will stay on. The phone will stay on absolutely great as long as you have one of these magnetic ones. Line it up, snap it on, and there you go. Same. It will come off, but in the car, the vent just mount just does not stay on. So yeah, that drives me absolutely nuts. So next part of that is uh, we'll take a little walk out to the car. I'll uh, show you that. In case you want to see an unboxing, boom, here's the box. Let's open it up. I'll figure I'll show you so I can throw the box out so I can stop driving around with it. There's your little card. There's your holder. And that's a box. I already unopened it. You don't need to see it. I'm not even going to read what's inside because it's just a wireless charger. And you don't need to see that. So there's the stuff I'm using for mouse. Again, we have the 3.0 in speckled fabric, which I do will say if you work outside, if you do anything outside that involves you being rough on your phone, then I will say definitely get one of these. I don't know about the other brands. I'd love to start doing more brand reviews on things that work good for a blue collar worker or anyone that works outside with their hands and is tough on their phones. So I'd love to get into start doing a series of testing these phones out, these cases out to see if they will actually hold up to everyday use, not just an office desk reviewing them and saying how pretty they are, how good they feel in your hand. But the fact of the matter is it's your money. You work hard for it. You buy these things and you want the damn things to work. You want them to hold up. 
You don't want to break your $1,000, $1,200 investment, whatever you paid for your phone. You want it to protect it and do the job that it's supposed to do and not just look pretty. Because I don't care if it looks pretty or not, I want it to work and function. So let's take a walk out to the car. We'll, I'll show you this uh, wireless mount, this wireless charger, and what I, why I like it and why I hate it. But uh, let's head out there. I'll be back in a minute. All right, so here we are out in the car. I'm going to show you uh, what this thing can and can't do, why I like and don't like it. I'm going to make it pretty quick because my car is still warming up. And, uh, yeah, it's a little cold out, 13 degrees with the wind chill. So we're at, like, negative 10 wind chill. So it's freezing out here. But uh, here's the mount here. I already put it in. I'll take it out. You have uh, your face part that the phone will stick to, nice, soft, grippy material. It does get a lot of crap on it, so that sucks. Um, here's your vent mount in the back. It just slides onto your vent. Don't mind my car, it is filthy. This is an older car I have for commuting to work. Like I said, I work full time. It's dirty sometimes, my car gets dirty, and I don't always have time to clean it. So, it is what it is. So, here's what I like about it. On this mount, let me just readjust it. I'm doing this one hand while holding the camera. Just slide it right on. And that's it, it's done. And take your phone. Let me see if I can switch hands here. We're gonna take this and just snap it on. Let me see, I'm not even looking at the mount. Done. So that's the nice part about, and it's charging. There you go, there's your wireless charge. Pops right on. You have your cord, we're gonna follow it down here. Here's your cigarette lighter. Not all cars still have those, but it is a USB something, I don't know, I think a USB-C or an A, I'm not too sure, I'm not too good on that stuff, but um, yeah, you know, here's what I do like, it just sits there nice and easy, and now the hard part is what I don't like is, here's about where I want it to be right there while I'm driving, but with the weight of the mount on the vent, any little bump and it just falls down, you're driving, it just wiggles and shakes, you hit a bump, and this thing just pops right out. Your phone will end up on the floor. So, mouse, I don't know, maybe this is just because it's a first generation with the weight of them and everything. They haven't really figured it out. But um, it does not stay in there. I do like the vent mount, the windshield mounts better, but from a holding the phone perspective. But in terms of these actually doing what they're supposed to do and keep your phone on there, the mount works, but the, I don't know if just if it's just my car or not, but uh, yeah, it does not stay in there. Taking it off is easy, just pull it sideways. Sometimes if you pull it straight off, it'll pull right out of the vent. Uh, I replaced it because I have this one up here, a Kinu charger, the wireless stopped working. Works awesome, but uh, like I said, it doesn't charge the phone anymore, so that's why I upgraded. But um, yeah, there it is, there it is outside. There's how it works in the car. Very straightforward. There's not much I'm going to show you beyond that because that's just a waste of time. Um, anyways, hope everyone enjoys the rest of your day. Hope you like the video. If you do, subscribe. I definitely love to uh, start doing some more reviews of other things. I'm going to review some other products that I have for my phone for stuff that I use for work, just general use stuff. So that way, if you work outside, you do real work, you use your hands, if you're tough on your stuff, I'm going to try and review stuff to target you from your point of view so you don't waste your money and you get the best use out of what you purchase. So I hope everyone has a good day. Hope you stay safe. So hope you stay healthy and we will see you in the next video. Any comments, any questions, just shoot them right over to me and I'll get back to you uh, and answer them as best as I can. Hope everyone enjoys your day.